Yes, I'm serious. No, this isn't clickbait. Well, maybe a little bit of clickbait. But if you want to find out the importance of using your feet when you're soaring, keep watching. Today's shout out goes to my year 12 horticulture class. Speaking of shouts, my year 11 and 12 construction class reckon that if I can get to a thousand subscriptions, then I should shout them all some fried chicken. So help them out and hit that subscribe button. Our goal when we're soaring is to get our arm coming through straight with the line of the cut. If I've got my feet over here like this, what you'll see happen is that my elbow has to go around my body. Now, if my elbow's going around my body, there is no way I'm ever going to get a straight cut. My big head out of the way, you can see my feet are at about a 45 degree angle to the line of cut, and that allows my arm to go through nice and straight in the line of the cut. Here I've moved my foot over, so my elbow now has to go around my body. And you'll see the arc that the saw now takes. So I think I'm ready to start sawing now. I've got my feet positioned at about 45 degrees to the line of cut. I've made sure that my elbow is coming straight through. It's not going around my body and I'm not sticking it way out here. Now, probably one of the hardest things for young students to do when they first start using a saw is to start the actual cut itself. Now what I tend to do is to start on the back edge because I'm quite tall. If you're not as tall as me, you might like to use the edge that's closest to you. I'm going to use my pointer finger and I'm going to use that as a bit of a guide just to get started. Now the saw is sharp, the timber is quite soft, so you don't need to put too much pressure into it and it won't require too much strength. All you need to do is just create that groove to start with and then continue on. problems with that cut at all. If I did find that I was having some issues, the saw was sticking or it was squealing, making me some noises, then the first thing I'd be looking at is adjusting my feet because chances are your feet are probably too far over this way and your arm wants to come around your body, therefore creating a curve when you cut. Just a couple of examples here of what I commonly see middle school students doing. See if you can find the cause and effect. <laughs> 